what seems to happen for many people is that some uh, terminologies become monumental. It's like observe, <gasps> observe, wow, <you> know. <laughs> or self inquiry, or the inquiry. But is that the inquiry? You see, like this, mind is doing it <laughs> out of habit. But it's simply looking. This is what is so beautiful about what is taking place here. We're not trying to pass any test, just looking. Not creating, not imagining. You see? So it, you cannot fail. What do we speak about when we talk about observing? No big deal. There is a sort of, uh, in life, you are constantly observing. Now I'm not talking about a sort of addicted observing, like, you know, a paranoid observing. Just that life is taking place, something is responding to. Actions and reactions are taking place spontaneously, actually, in your presence. Sometimes you have the feeling that you are the doer of them. But if you stop and you just take a, a quiet, steady look at this idea that you are the originator of action, just that only, to take a look, you may come to some beautiful finding that you are not doing anything. You have the sense that you are doing something. Even this simple thing, we miss it, in fact, because it seems so normal. I am the doer of my actions. So even that, I say, listen, don't worry about it. You can have this feeling, I am the doer of actions. It's not going to prevent you from what I'm pointing you to see for the moment. Weakness is, let's keep it simple. You are the weakness of your life, what is taking place in front of you. You are the one who notices it. Simple, that's all it means, you see? The only difficulty come when you're adding on to yourself all these different decorations, all these different ideas about who you are and so on. So that gets a bit confusing, that's all. But the witnessing is the same. You can be witnessing with, uh, and now I'm using the word witnessing, witnessing, so it's building up like <laughs> witnessing, <laughs> you see? But you're observing, noticing, we can choose any word. But when you are in a strong identification with the circumstances that are appearing in front of you, then something changes with that. It becomes personal, it becomes intimate. You see, you are capable of observing what takes place without being sucked into it. In fact, you are doing it all the time. Most things that appear in front of you doesn't register deeply. You don't pick it up. You don't save. You don't log on. You see? And this is the beautiful thing about life, if it's just happening. And what causes you to actually remember some things and not others? What is it? A conditioning, perhaps, habit, something that you have enjoyed in the past, you wish to enjoy again. So the minute something resembles that, <gasps> there's interest, because you want to repeat what you've enjoyed. And what you have not enjoyed, you want to avoid. You see? So this is just the same for everybody. It's the same for everyone. So this thing about witnessing is nothing particularly s special, religious, spiritual. It just means, can you observe without identifying?